Imagine living in a place so difficult and dangerous that you felt you had to flee to Yemen, one of the poorest countries in the world, embroiled in war and plagued with acute malnutrition and diseases like cholera. And then imagine this. As a refugee in Yemen, suddenly everything got worse. The pandemic has impacted us so much. My mother does not have a regular job, but she cleans houses, even now, during the coronavirus. But some people won't open the door. They tell her to leave or insult her. Yemen hosts the second largest number of Somali refugees in the world after Kenya. But aid workers say international funds to support them are being diverted to other needs as the world's economy reels under the pandemic. Over the summer, the United Nations Refugee Agency says it may run out of cash and shelters for refugees and have to fire about 1,500 local staff at a time when Yemenis are suffering financially. Families say the pandemic is making everyone poorer, which is potentially spreading the virus. If my mother stays at home, she cannot feed us. But if she goes to work, this may bring the coronavirus into our home. Yemen has a relatively small number of reported COVID-19 cases, less than 1,000 as of June 24th. But aid groups say the real number may be much higher and growing. Measures to prevent the disease from spreading in Yemen are limited, with no way for many people to follow social distancing guidelines or keep clean. A large-scale outbreak in Yemen would be impossible to contain, aid workers say, with thousands of hospitals destroyed in five years of war and severe shortages of even the most basic medical equipment. Heather Murdoch, VOA News in Istanbul, with Nasi Shaker in Sana'a.